Welcome to this week's video. I'm Aaron Ross and I am an iPad Pro user. I'm also a photographer. I make YouTube videos. And all of that used to mean all of these dongles. One use dongles. Well, that's about to change. Now with the iPad Pro, it has one USB-C port. And that means that you have to pick and choose what you're gonna use that port for. And if you go with the Apple accessories, you can do things like this media connection that has a USB port that is for power, a USB-C port that is, an HDMI if you wanna to connect to something like an external monitor, and then a traditional USB-A port for things like an external hard drive or other accessories you may want to add. And that's great, but one thing that the iPad Pro does not have is a headphone jack. So then you have to use this guy. Well, now I can't use any of these ports if I'm using this for headphones, unless you get other adapters to connect into here and convert USB-C to USB-A so you can use this. It just gets a little out of hand. And then for me as a photographer, as a creator here on YouTube, I am filming and making photos all the time. And that means I have SD cards that I need to import the data into the iPad. Now, if you don't know, I do all of my photo editing on the iPad. I have a host of videos here on the channel about editing photos on the iPad. And I also edit every single one of these videos on the iPad using LumaFusion. So that means I have to have the SD card reader. So this allows me to import all of my media from my SD cards onto the iPad so I can get to work. But I also use an Osmo Action and right out of frame is an H1N from Zoom is my microphone that I use for these videos as well. Both of those take micro SD cards. And this is something else I have to carry around to convert that micro SD card into a full SD card so it works with the SD card reader. So as you can see, this gets a little crazy. I have to carry around every single one of these when I wanna do any sort of productivity work on my iPad. Now I do most of that work here at home, but there is a lot of travel that used to happen and will hopefully be happening again soon. But since I've been doing most of that at home, I decided to go a different route, or at least tried to go a different route and went with a desktop kind of docking station. Now this one is from Basus. I would not recommend this. It has a lot of ports. That's its kind of main selling point. It has three HDMI ports, uh, ethernet. It has multiple USB-C ports, USB 3.0 ports that are A. It has SD card, micro SD, but like half of them don't work. And I could really not get it to work for me. Even just simply having the power connected and trying to import one other thing, it usually wasn't working for me. It was too much of a hassle. So this is not a product I recommend. And that meant that I was still on the hunt for something else. And that's when I came across this guy, a USB C hub from Anchor. Now, this is not sponsored. I paid $50 for this on Amazon. I will drop a link to this in the description of this video because spoiler alert this is amazing and it meets all of my needs and i'm sure it's going to meet most of yours if not all of yours as well now if you're finding this video helpful make sure and give it a thumbs up as it really does help out the channel but why is this so amazing well in this one dock or hub it is hdmi which allows me to connect to an external monitor at my desk it has the USB-C port, which is just a power port. So that is only passing power through. You cannot pass data through that port. It has a USB-A port for that data transfer. Then it has a SD card and micro SD card. So I no longer need the adapter for the micro SD card. And it has the headphone jack. So I can be using all of these at the same time. And I've tried it and they all work. So I was able to plug in the iPad to an external monitor, have both an SD card and micro SD card connected. I connected my external uh, SSD to the USB-A port, had the power plugged in, 
and had the headphones plugged in as well and everything was working as expected. Now, obviously your transfer speeds are gonna slow down if you have all of those things connected coming through this thing, but it does work if that's how you wanna use it. Now for me, what this does is it allows me to edit and transfer information back and forth between my SD card directly to my external hard drive using the files app, kind of passing it through that way where it actually is not coming onto my iPad for some good backups, as well as editing videos with the headphones in. Now the iPad has decent speakers, but I wanna make sure that I'm getting some of this audio tuned in a little bit better. And that means that I am using headphones. And so video editing is going to drain battery pretty quickly. I can pop this in, have my headphones and the power still plugged in at the same time, as opposed to this guy that allows me to have the headphones plugged in, but now I'm just draining battery the whole time. To me, having this all in one device changes the game. Being able to throw this one thing in the bag, one device I have to worry about that does it all, really means that I can now take my iPad wherever I wanna go be as productive as I want to, if it's on the road, if it's in the office, it doesn't really matter. This device is going to do the job. Now I get it, USB hubs are not the flashiest thing in the world. They aren't gonna make your work any better, that's for sure. But it's those little details that are going to make your workflow that much better. Now last year I made a video talking about my workflow for a photographer on the iPad. Now, I am gonna link that video up here for you so you can see where I was a year ago, but this device, this little anchor hub is completely changing that workflow. So make sure and hit that subscribe button because I am going to be remaking that video as an update for 2021 because again, it's all changed and it's because of this anchor hub. Now that is gonna do it for this video. I highly recommend picking up this anchor hub if you haven't already. Link is down in the description, but until next time, I'm gonna go make some photos and I hope you do too.